that I need to finish editing and I'm gonna put it up. But this is a little something different. This is a little something different. I meant to do this a couple of days ago, but for some reason I couldn't get this thing to charge for shit. Uh, and it was like dumb dead. Like I couldn't even try to record. But you know, if you've been watching the news, um, earlier in the week, K Spade uh, was died. Apparent, apparently, it was a suicide. Um, and then later on in the week, Anthony Bourdain. And so, and I think some other people. I'm not real big on the news and stuff like that. Like I just watch it for the traffic and the weather. Uh, watching the local news in the world is crazy because they somebody eyes getting shot or something like that. So it's, maybe the same thing don't really change. But um, I know I know those aren't the first those aren't the first uh, famous people to to kill themselves or, or wealthy people or whatever. And a lot of people, the first thing people want to jump on is. You know, see, money don't make you happy, and it, and to me that just sounds like somebody who don't have don't have that much money. Like, I don't have that much money, and I know that changing my um, my the amount of my net worth right now or tomorrow or whatever is not gonna overall change my life. It's not gonna change my happiness at least. It will change your life, but um. I forgot exactly who said it or what textbook I wrote, wrote it in, read it in, but just take my word for it. Until once your basic needs are met, basic needs being food, shelter, security, you know what I'm saying, a roof over your head, your bills are paid, all of that. Once those things are, are met, everything after that is pretty much a moot point. Warren Buffett, I was watching a video uh, interview of him and he made a good point saying he's Warren Buffett is obviously somebody who is very wealthy, has a lot of money. He was talking to some students, I think. And he said he what he was trying to say was money don't change that much. It's not that it doesn't change, it just don't change that much because he still has to travel like everybody else. The difference is his he he might get to travel a little more convenient because he's on a private jet. He don't have to wait in line or you know do baggage claim and all of that or, or whatever comes with getting on a private jet. Y'all know I ain't been on a private jet, so I don't know nothing about that. But just in general, he still has to fly. His house still has bathroom sinks and toilets and kitchens and whatever. It just might be nice. He might have marble in his. He might have a real expensive chandelier, but it's still only gonna light up wherever it is to light up. You know what I'm saying? So that that that, that was the overall point, and that's what. I, I do agree with that. You know, money don't money don't make you happy because money is only going to change certain things in your life. But you got to make yourself happy. Um, and and the recent, the, not that I was attached to. I'm I don't I don't I would say I'm attached to any celebrity. I mean, I, I'm a fan of certain people, but I'm not attached to their lives. I don't I don't know what goes on. I don't try to keep up with people what goes on in their life i'm not one of them i'm not in the know so uh you're not about to get none of that for me i i don't have any updates um uh, or none of that but you can sometimes see it in somebody's face even when they smiling they're not really that happy um and i can i can attest to that because i've been there before you know whatever i'm sure everybody goes through things in their life so um and people will look at people will look at Instagram and uh, Facebook and social media. Oh man, I thought everything was perfect. And I thought, and I've done that too. I've seen couples get a divorce, and on social media they look perfect. Like you, I mean, they look so perfect. It's like, oh man, I know they don't have no problems. But that's I need, I needed that lesson though. Like nobody's perfect, and and you get in a highlight reel. Well, if I'm gonna take a picture with if I'm gonna take a picture with my wife, I'm not gonna change the quote because we got into a fight or I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, my bad I was looking for a parking spot I'm not gonna the picture's not gonna express that we just had that fight I remember we used to go to church all the time and um the pastors would say oh that is a sexy truck right there okay see that money will buy you a nice truck I'm telling you that right now that I see you big dog I see you partner um Y'all know I got ADD when it comes to them cars. 
Jeez. So, I forgot what I was saying. I know we would go to church and it had been times where we got into an argument on the way to church, you know, whatever. And as soon as you walk into church, you're smiling, you're kicking it, dapping everybody up. And it'd be like, you have no idea, we just was going off in the car. But everybody does that, everybody puts that face on. And I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing or a good thing. It ain't everybody business. Um, everybody doesn't need to know when you are going through. Uh, just like everybody don't need to know when it's going good either. I, I'm 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 on both sides. Like I don't I don't express when everything is amazing either. I just kind of let it. Uh, I turn too early. I just kind of I'm talking to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking my time. Find me a parking spot. I just kind of let it. I let everything be what it is. It's, I'm a. It's natural for me when I'm out enjoying life. I take pictures. If I, if I don't feel like taking pictures, I don't take pictures. I, I don't want to include anybody in my. You know, I'm living my best life. Like that, that's for me to decide. That's for me to enjoy and be in that moment. Uh, a picture is not gonna change that. The only thing I look at pictures is you get to hold on to certain moments. You know, like when I see my son doing stuff, I can watch that. I can see that again. You know, I got snaps saved of him doing certain stuff and, it, and it's simple stuff, but I'll have that proverbially forever, you know, until it's lost or something like that. I, at the moment, that's something I can hold on to for a little while. Let me see if I can squeeze still here. Cause you're waiting on that parking spot, huh, buddy? Okay, cool. Cool, we're gonna go ahead and go around you, mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm park right here. This is what I'm about to do. I need a paint job, so I don't care about parking next to people. So, I said that to say, social media is usually the highlight reel and it's gonna always look good. Um, because nobody likes the person that posts the worst stuff either. Like, oh my God, my life is terrible. I hate my life, my parents, whatever. Like, we don't need to see that either, you know, or people that put their arguments on Facebook. I used to think that was hilarious. Like, you can see somebody's getting into it and they in the same household, but they posting it on Facebook. Like, yo, chill out, man. Say that to that man or say that to that woman. You know, there ain't no need for all of that. But, um... With the with the recent events and, and things in my in my in my personal life, I just as of late, I just been working on me. Like you got to make yourself happy. I see I got a lot of friends and I see a lot of people on social media and stuff like that who are single, and they may assume, which is natural, just like with money, cars, clothes, uh, uh, houses, whatever. You assume the person who has something that you don't and you might desire that, you assume that they're happier than you. You'd be surprised. You would be surprised. You know, that person might have that Benz or, or that nice truck and then you holler at them and it's like, oh, okay, that really what it's cracked up to be, you know, life-wise. Everybody got something going on. Uh, for all the people that's single and you see people in relationship, talk to them. Like, talk to them for real, for real. It, it might not be, like the, 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 if, if we putting happy, happiness on a meter, the needle might not be that far from yours. The only difference is they're not alone. And, and so I'm not taking that away from it either. You know, that person may, you know, sleeping sleeping alone may be a, may be a struggle. For, I've heard women, well, not, I ain't really heard too many men say that, but that, it, not in this way. But I've heard women say, I, I just miss having somebody in the bed with me. You know, not even on no sexual stuff, just, somebody laying next to you you know sometimes a, a lot of people sleep better because they have a mate next to them and when they mate is out of town or they out of town they don't sleep that good james sleeps amazing regardless you know what i'm saying i pillow sleep that's i need a pillow you know what I'm saying? i sleep on the floor if you give me a pillow uh sleeping on my arm my arms usually fall asleep because you know what i'm saying it just that part doesn't help me but no nah, man at at the end of the day though like no all jokes aside if you're gonna be happy you gotta make you happy even if you're in a good relationship, you, this is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. Y'all got married, y'all got kids, y'all. Everything is perfect. You still got to be happy on your own. If you can't be happy by yourself, you're not going to be happy because you, because you have somebody else. You're not going to be happy because you got money, because you don't have money, because you, you don't have stress, or because you do have, like, you got to be happy for you. 
And this is for me too. I'm not, I haven't, I'm not saying it as one of those, you know, you got the motivational speakers and they get up and it's like they got it all figured out and all of this. No, I'm walking with you in this one because James is working on James in this same exact space. I'm not the most positive person. I'm not the most, I'm pretty optimistic and I, you know, I, I try and I try, I try to stay positive. I try to look at things, but I'm such a logical person. I'm a, it is what it is type of person. So I might not look at it negatively or positive. I'm in the middle. I'm just, it is what it is. Like oh, my cup ain't half full or half empty. It just ain't, it, it's just in the middle. My cup is just in the middle. That's, that's, that's kind of how I am in that. Sometimes that get a little rough too. Cause you, you really can't enjoy some positive things and it's some negative things that you can brush off that some people can't brush off. Like it just, it got its pros and cons too. But at the end of the day, man, everybody wants to be what they perceived happiness is. And that perception is gonna constantly change. That perception is gonna uh, grow, evolve. And it's up to you to chase that. And it's up to you to attain that. And it'll probably change over time. What made you happy 10 years ago probably might not make you happy or it may make you happy 10 years ago and vice versa. So it's still up to you. You got to make you happy, you know. Uh, and, and if you have, uh, back, back on, the, back on the, the mental health, the suicide part, man, mental health, health is a real thing. I have a master's degree in psychology. It was counseling psychology. I, I graduated. I wanted to graduate early so that I, because my wife was pregnant, and I was not about to try to do internship and pay bills. I had a mortgage, you know, life, life. We we'll call it life. So I have every credit I needed to become a counselor, counseling psychologist. I just didn't satisfy the internship requirement. Therefore, my master's degree is general psychology. I can go into teaching or whatever. I say that to say mental health is an important thing, and, it, and it's a real thing, and, and it's something that I've actually studied. And so when I'm saying that, I'm not just jumping on the bandwagon. Mental health is real. We go to the doctor for everything but our brain. And that might be the one thing that keeps everything else going. Your brain is so dope, you can be sitting somewhere burning up and tell yourself that you're cold. And if you can truly trick yourself to believe that you're cold, your brain will tell your body that you're cold. I mean, your brain is everything. That's This is where the ideas are. This is where, this is where the... The, the inspirations are, the goals, the dreams. If you don't take time to harness this and to, and to, and to give this time to rest and think and, and relax and and let go, you're gonna be wound up. You're gonna be you you're gonna be just like this at all times. So mental health is a real thing. There's people out here really struggling with mental health. And and sometimes what's real close to genius is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Some people that come out with genius, when you look at some of the uh, ingen ingen in in ingeniousness, I don't know what word I was trying to say, but when you look at some of the people that have invented some of the some of the things we still use it today, some of the best inventions, and when you start looking into their lives, or some of the some of the artists, the painters, the poets, the book, the the write, the authors, and when you start really looking at these people, these really really great. The greats, man, they usually you gotta go to a crazy place to come up with some of this, some of this artwork, some of this, some of these movie ideas, some of that. And they really be kind of close to crazy based off of what society would call crazy. You know what I'm saying? And so it, it, man, it, it's just this is this is a tricky thing, man, and it can get you can lose it real fast. You know what I'm saying? And it, and everybody that got it that got it going on or got it right and they hit they in their right mind or what they think to be their right mind might look at somebody else and say, how how could they commit suicide and they have a family and they have people that care for them. They they got all that money and it still ain't made. No, it's not that. You don't know what them people was chasing, running from. You don't know what was so hard on them that the best way to get, the best way that they could think of to get away from it was to, was to take themselves out. They may have done something or thought something so bad about themselves that they felt the only thing that they could do was that and, and i'm not taking up for it. it you know it is what it is i i haven't had anybody fortunately i haven't had anybody in my family do anything like that i've i've i know people i went to high school with people that have and you know we weren't close enough as friends at the time where i could say oh I, you know my homie or this like i'm not gonna be fake act like that but i do know of people that did it and i mean 
It's it's rough right, man. Life get rough. Life get tight and, and everybody can't handle life. Some of these some people get sheltered their whole life and then you know they get out here and, and, and life happen and oh my god, I you know what I'm saying? You just you don't know where people come from. You don't know what people been struggling with, how long they've been struggling with. It was a uh weather guy back in Kansas City. Um meteor I think it was a chief meteorologist at the time, but he was definitely, you know, one of the weather people and Man, he was the funniest, goofiest dude on the on show on the on the show. Like, he was always chipper and happy and boom, whatever. And then he killed. And then you know he killed himself. I forgot how he did it and and, and when and you know what the circumstances surrounding was. But a lot of people around him knew that he had some some, some sort of uh, mental issues or he was struggling with stuff. And but you, man, it, I I'm I'm one of them. I'm real good at it, man. You can put on a face. To where nobody would know what the hell is going on and i think i'm good at that because it's not everybody's business what i might be going through on top of that man my legs work my body work i work out i got you know i'm in decent shape i got good health my blood's flowing good i don't take any medicine but so at the end of the day whatever i'm dealing with man it ain't it ain't as bad as it could be you know what i'm saying so i that's one of the reasons why i don't complain or or, or wear it on my sleeve because man it could be worse i know people going through way worse than i'm going through and and I, I also know people doing way better than what i'm doing so i'm i got a good way to look at it either way it ain't it's it's not but but man check on your strong people check on people around you in general you know what i'm saying sometimes it get hard being a strong person and saving face and always taking it on the chin you know something happened to you just you know ah, it's cool you know we'll work it out we'll figure it out i'm real good at figuring it out but man it get hard sometimes sometimes you need somebody to hold you and, and let you know that you straight you know so if you got some weak people around you man check on them hold on to them let them know you there for real for real not none of that fake phony stuff and then if you got some strong people hit them in the back and Hey man, if you need me, let me know. I know you got it. I know you good, especially like strong black women. Boy, they don't need nobody. You hear me? Let them know. Hey, you don't need it, but I'm here for you. You know, if you if you need a, if you just wanna if you just wanna yell over the phone, call me. I listen. I won't say nothing. I'm, I'm not gonna. There's no judgmental. Some people just wanna be heard. Some people want to complain about something that they can't complain about to somebody else, or they want to say some horrible shit that they thinking. Without you judging them, let them say it. Don't say, don't, don't have an answer. You don't always have to have an answer. It's okay to say, hey, I don't really have an answer for that, but I'm here for you. So, man, just take care of your people. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's what we can do as humans. We Everybody get caught up in their own stuff, and, and it's easy to do. You know what I'm saying? But, and, and, and your people ain't always your family. I know, pe I, know I, I know people that got family members who don't fuck with them or or who ain't really got they back, like something, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I said your people for a reason. I ain't say your family, your people. The, the folks you in contact with constantly. The people you holler at. It might be somebody you met last year. It might be somebody you met 20 years ago. It don't matter, them your people. Take care of your people. Because that's who's gonna take care of you. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, I ain't, I don't have it all together and, and shit, and it'll be a while before I do, but I'm working. And, and I just, I just been thinking about that and I thought I'd just drop that out there, man. And if if you feeling me, you know what I'm saying? Like it, share it. If you're not feeling what I'm saying, dislike, don't share it, don't tell nobody. But man, this 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 the real. You know, I play with the truck and you know what I'm saying, I probably throw the bike up here every now and then and you know, we're about to move again, so I'm getting stuff in order where I can record more and do more or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to do this, so you know what I'm saying? If you watched it and you got to this point, man, I really appreciate it. Um, share it with somebody. If you know somebody that's struggling with some mental health, get 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 them the help that they need. If you can't find the help, find somebody that can find the help. And uh, man, just at the end of the day, man, regardless of what you do, take care of your people, man. That's it. That's all I'm asking is just take care of your people. Like I said, if you got to this point, man, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Um, I might do some more of these. If something pop off and I feel like talking about it, I will. If y'all want to hear something, if y'all want me to talk about something, drop me a topic. I'll talk about whatever. I'm not, I don't care about nothing. Like, 
I hope you believe me when I tell you that. Like, I will talk about whatever. So, if it's something specific you want to talk, if it's a topic and we cool and you want to get it off your chest but you can't, let me know. I'm man, I'm talking about whatever for real, for real. Like, not to switch the switch the subject, but man, just let me know if you want to hear anything because I like talking. That's what I do. But uh, once again, man, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm out. I'm about to go get these groceries. Be easy.